Hi everyone, Power Rangers Red here, aka Dwayne here, and I just want to say thank you to Insect Queen Turkina for pointing out to me that Power Rangers Ninja Storm was also released it on the Game Boy Advance. Now, I haven't played Power Rangers Ninja Storm on Game Boy Advance, so I don't know if there's any differences between the PC and the Game Boy version. Now, the first things that I will and I do know for a fact that the DHQ did make this game. Yes, see right there, DHQ made the game. Nintendo approved it from the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And the first things I want to talk about is I haven't played the game, so I do not, I'm not familiar. I don't know if the game controls are good or bad. I don't know if they're delayed, if they're slow, if they're fast. If the controls are inconsistent, okay. Now I do know for a fact that it's side-scrolling fighting, so I know that for a fact. And it features the three um, Wind Rangers, Shane, Dustin, and Tori. I believe this game may have came out around the beginning of the season. I'm not sure. Maybe Hunter and Blake are are added later. Because they did show up in episode 2, I believe. But um, they didn't join the team until maybe um, months later, in later episodes. Um, this might be before Cameron joined as the Green Samurai Ranger. This might have been even before Hunter and Blake joined as the Thunder Rangers. Um, regardless of when this took place, I'm sure that Lothor, Sergane, Chubo, and Mark Capli are, are the villains on this game. And I'm sure the stage bosses are the monsters of the week. Now, did I personally play this game? No, I haven't. So I really don't know. I don't know any of the good or the bad of the game. So, I will assume that anybody who did play the game... May, there may be some good things about the game, there might be some bad things about the game. But honestly, I never played the game, so I can't talk about any of it, any of its positives or any of its negatives. Or pros or cons, as some may uh, um, call them. Um, I think this game, for anybody who is into the Game Boy or the Game Boy Advance, um, to my understanding, the Game Boy Advance is the Game Boy in color. But also, Nintendo also made a Game Boy port for the Nintendo GameCube, so you could play your um, Game Boy games on that console. Now, is this a really good game? Well, I, I think it is. I never played it, but I hope it's a good game. I know it'd be a good game for me. But for everybody else out there, it may or may not be a good game. So, let me know what you think about this game. I'm sure that the gameplay is is good. Now, I don't know if the levels are inspired by actual episode locations or not. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Maybe some of them are. I'm sure the game takes place in uh, uh, Blue Bay Harbor. I believe, because um, that's where the Power Rangers Ninja Storm season was uh, fictionally took place at, um, and this was would have been Disney's. This would have been the eleventh season, Disney's second um, season produced by Disney. Um, the first being Wild Force. Um, so that's it. I just want to say, I hope you all enjoyed this review on Power Rangers Ninja Storm on the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And I want to say thank you to one of my newest subscribers, Insect Queen Turkina, for, Turkina for pointing out that Power Rangers Ninja Storm was on the Game Boy Advance. And subscribe to her, comment on her channel. Send personal messages. Check out her multiple favorites and playlists that she has. She doesn't have any videos, but I'm sure that may change one day. 
So that's it. Thank you, Insect Queen Trukina, for subscribing to my channel and bringing this um, to my attention about Power Rangers Ninja Storm on the Game Boy Advance. And now my cat Mina's trying to grab me. That's it. I'll see you all later.